What's up guys? You're welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to install multiple instances of WhatsApp on a particular device. I do not mean installing WhatsApp and WhatsApp business. I mean installing two instances of private WhatsApp on one phone. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent video. Let's jump right in. To install multiple instances of WhatsApp on a single device, you need parallel space. Parallel space allows you to create user profiles outside the default profile that you have on Android once you buy and set up your device. So to create a second user profile, download Parallel Space, install and open the app. Now once you start the app, you are greeted with this user agreement. So you just agree and continue. Now you tap continue here, of course, to grant permissions to Parallel Space to allow it have access to your device and get to do what it needs to do. So now let's start. Once you hit start, it creates secondary user profile. And of course, you know that Gmail, YouTube and others do not restrict you from adding multiple accounts except WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is really the app that most people need, you know, a secondary user profile to access. So once you select the apps that you want to clone, because it basically allows you to clone apps and install them. Once you select the apps you want to clone, now you tap on add to parallel space. Once you tap on that, it requests for more permissions, of course. You go through the permissions that are requested and you grant them if you are okay with it. It asks you to install Parallel Space 64-bit support. That is assuming your device runs on 64-bit. It asks you to download and install Parallel Space 64-bit support. Once you do that, it gives you a very seamless experience. Like in this case, I had already set up a secondary WhatsApp account on inside Parallel Space. And as you can see, this is different from my main WhatsApp account. That is, is different from my main WhatsApp account, which is this one. So to access the secondary one, I just need to launch Parallel Space and I have my secondary WhatsApp account inside the Parallel Space environment. Now, apart from being able to clone, every other thing works as though the app is installed on your default OS environment because so far I've not seen any difference. If you want to add more apps, you can tap on the add app button. It pulls up this interface where you can select any app that already exists in your app drawer. Any app that you want to clone, you can clone it here. If you want to set up an incognito installation, you can tap here. That is in a case where you do not want the app to exist in your OS environment. That is, you do not want it to appear in your app drawer, in your normal app drawer. You can clone the app here and then remove the icon from your app drawer. That is what is called incognito installation. So once you clone the app, it no longer appears in your app drawer. So the, here is a, a list of apps that you can download and install in incognito mode. And this looks very much like an app store of its own, but you can also search Google Play just in case the, the app you are looking for does not exist here. You can search Google Play, download and install your app in incognito mode. And if you do not want incognito mode, you can clone the apps here and you will have two copies of the app, one here in parallel space and one in your regular app drawer. Okay, so let's see what's happens here we we can set up notifications of course we can let set up notifications for the app that we install in parallel space we can also set up notification for google play store google play games etc so basically that is that and uh, with parallel space you can download and install a second copy of any app of your choice such that if you are having difficulty running a certain app a certain app version and you want to download and install another instance of that same app you can do that with parallel space without any challenge whatsoever. Also, you can secure your parallel space environment assuming that you do not want any other person to have access to your parallel space app drawer. You can secure that with a password. It also supports speed mode. Okay, let's look at settings. Let's see the settings that can be made. Okay, this is quite simple here. We can we, we can create shortcut for one tap boost, white lists white list of one tap boost popular news task manager etc i think it's quite simple and straightforward for anyone to understand so i feel this is actually a very easy solution in a case where you want to have multiple instances of apps running on your device without having to get multiple devices just for the sake of running apps now if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video